And it's the Community Shield tonight at five o'clock. Liverpool, Man City, the Football League begins in earnest after last night. It started with Burnley looking really good at Huddersfield under new manager Vincent Company. I don't know how you're going to keep it all in your head, Mike. You've got so much going on. Look, enjoy the atmosphere there at the Commonwealth <laughs> Games. It's, I know, keep scratching, keep, keep giving it all in. Um, lovely to see you, Mike. Enjoy it down there. Um, we'll speak soon. Will do. It's, it's really exciting, isn't it? I mean, it is a feast of sport. If you want Fabulous. to watch it, it's, it's everywhere. We will have the build-up, of course, to that Euros final tomorrow on breakfast. But for today... That's it. Of course, the programme back tomorrow from six o'clock. Yeah, thank you for watching this morning and uh, whatever you're doing, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello and very good morning to you. This is BBC News. I'm Lequesta Burak with your headlines. And widespread disruption to train services is expected throughout the UK today as drivers from seven operators walk out over pay. President Zelensky of Ukraine wants a war crime investigation into the killing of 50 prisoners of war at a detention centre in the Russian-occupied part of Donetsk. Grain ships are still stuck in Ukraine, but still hoping for a signal to leave port after a deal with Russia. And a former Tory leadership candidate, Tom Tugendhat, is the latest Conservative to back Liz Truss in the race for the keys to number 10. And Pope Francis has said he may need to consider stepping down and would do so if his health meant that that could not serve in any way he should. Well, now on BBC News, it's fleeing Afghanistan, free to be me. I've concluded that it's time to end America's longest war. It's time for American troops to come home. As US, UK and NATO forces leave Afghanistan, the Taliban tightens its grip 